All right, guys, making a video here to uh, start out on what you need to do to remove this generator. First, you need to remove this bolt that holds the top part of the generator on. You're gonna slide it in, slide your belt off. Disconnect these studs up here, and take your cables off. Slide your old your generator back. Remove this bracket here, which goes to your water pump. That's where you're going to mount the new one. And then there's a bolt on that side on the underside, and a bolt on this side on the underside. You'll take them both out, and that generator will slide right out. And then you'll be in business. It's pretty nasty, but remember, it's been in there for 50-some-odd years, so... It's got most of the last century hanging out under there. Alright. And there it is. Remove this bracket here. Good to go. Okay, so we removed the old mount. And we didn't really clean it up too much, but it's kind of clean. And here's the new mount. And it will just slide right down in there. And you bolt it up with a supplied hard where they send with you. Alright guys, we got it installed with the bolts that were supplied with it to install. The only thing I added was this ground wire here. You have to make it yourself. So, it's your choice to put one on there or not. They say it'll ground out on this here. I don't think it will personally, so I added this on there. So, uh, yeah, if you're going to paint it, you might want to add that wire. Alright, now we're doing the electrical. We ran this wire here. We haven't taped it and made it look pretty yet. We're still working on it. But this wire here... But this wire here used to run to your generator. This is your old external regulator. So what you're going to do is disconnect those, tape them off, put them in this line here. This is your old power line. You want to go ahead and disconnect it and tape it off as well. And what you're going to do is run a new 12 volt red wire from your battery terminal up through your line here, around into your battery. This yellow wire is what turns on and off your regulator in your new alternator. It's got a diode in it, allowing for electricity to only go one way. That way your battery doesn't die. So we're going to go ahead and hook this up to the ignition, and we're going to run a new power wire. And we're going to go ahead and leave this on there, just in case we ever decide to hook up a generator again. While I was at it, I went ahead and replaced this cable here, the old ground cable, with a newer cable. It doesn't look as cool as the old vintage ones, but I've Bet you that'll give you a lot better ground connection than anything else. It'll help brighten up your headlights, increase your alternator, and everything. There's also one between the engine and the cab that needs to be replaced on the bottom there. Alright guys, we got it all wired up and running. We taped it off. We hooked up our meter on it. And it's running 14.77 volts. That's really good. It'll come in real handy when you're running these extra fans, AC, anything. Anyway, that's what I'm done doing. Now you guys go do something.